Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening on 3 News Now. Weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. The rain is going to continue to be pretty steady here into the evening, late in the evening. Even some heavier pockets of rain will move in from time to time. Temperatures, though, will stay well above freezing. We're talking mid 40s for most of the night, even going into the early morning hours. We're going to be around 47 degrees. Some light activity early in the day. So as the commute gets underway, be prepared for a few showers. Roadways will be slick and we're also still looking at some patchy fog developing. Strong gusty winds also blowing in from the southeast about 15 to 30 miles an hour. That snow line stays off to the west of us. So this is where the more significant concerns will be for travel and also accumulating snow. Then we will see a wintry mix developing between four or five o'clock in the afternoon and evening here in the metro as temperatures drop closer to freezing. Little to no accumulation is expected once this backside of the system moves through and the colder air starts heading our way. As far as the winter weather concerns, again, it's just off to the west of us. This is where the advisories, winter storm warnings are in effect, so this is where more significant or substantial snowfall is expected. Along with those gusty winds, it's going to reduce visibility over parts of I-80, so be prepared for that even if you have travels back to the north over South Dakota. As far as our extended forecast goes, as we go into the weekend, we have 49 degrees, but once the system moves through, windy day on Friday. Slight chance there could be a few flurries around. High of only 24. We're down to 9 Saturday morning with a high of only 25, but sunshine for Saturday. A little bit more of a recovery on Sunday as a warm front moves in. It's going to be a breezy day. Temperatures will rise into the 40s. Then once again, another system heading our way on New Year's Eve on Monday. Could see maybe a few flurries around 36 degrees, but then colder air as we kick off the new year with a high on January 1st of 24.